Now, the Lake Chad Basin Commission, eight governors of the Boko Haram affected territories, uh, territories rather, and the government of Chad Republic have commenced the fourth edition of the Lake Chad Basin Governors Forum. The meeting provided an avenue for stakeholders to build on the achievements made so far and ways to strengthen regional and cross-border cooperation in the fight against insurgency and terrorism in the region. TVC's Jesse Tafida reports from Najema, capital of Chad Republic. The 13-year Boko Haram conflict and other crises has dealt a big blow on the countries of the Lake Chad region. Thousands have been killed and millions displaced from their ancestral homes. Now that peace is returning, the region is setting up measures to stabilize survivors of the conflict. Gathered in this hall are governors from the four affected countries, 20 high-level delegates and 350 delegates across the globe. They are here to chart a way forward on how best to address humanitarian challenges in the region. We always promote, we discuss about how to enhance regional stability, regional cooperation, and also how to end the crisis in the region to build on development, the gains so far achieved, actualized, and also to ensure sustainable security in the region. This meeting serves as a platform for engaging in frank discussions that provides participants with the insights to draw lessons on cross-cutting transitional challenges bedeviling the region and coordinating joint actions and solutions. If you understand, the security situation in the Northern has improved by over 80%. 20 years today, we settled about 2 million people. There is tremendous security humanities improvement in the markets. You are not ready for us to stop coming to see that. If we want to also address the issue of insecurity, we have to sustain the current tempo of, uh, of, of, of activities, of operations that we are doing to address the problem. As the three-day meeting continues, the forum will take time to examine the options for addressing climate security and conflict leakages with a view to providing solutions. The first day of the meeting has afforded stakeholders the opportunity to identify urgent issues which need to be addressed locally, regionally and globally so as to strengthen community resilience and pathways for sustainable living. Jesse Tafida, TVC News, Jemaina, Chad.